The Story Summary The Stove by Marjorie Pickthall This is a story about three people. They are siblings. They lived in a cabin in wilderness, two brothers and one sister. The eldest named Garth, the youngest named Derek, and the sister named Ort. I'll be back with the doctor in three days. This were the words from the older brother Garth to his sister Dorette. Before leaving, Garth has to prepare enough firewood and food for his sister and his younger brother for three days. The important thing that Dorette had to do when there was no Garth is to keep the stove going, since the stove could keep them alive during the winter. After Garth left for saving his brother, Dorette looked after the stove very well by feeding the firewood almost all the time and as well as looked after her younger brother Derek who was a sick man that slept on the bed without moving since he was shot by someone. About Dorette, day by day her life could survive because of the stove that burned in the cabin. Without Garth, at the first night, Dorette woke up five times to feed the stove to keep it going. The second night, she did not have enough asleep since she really worried about her younger brother Derek who's sick in bed and also worried about Garth who went out for the doctor. She was too afraid of falling asleep. Afraid about keeping the stove alive was not enough. Like what she had thought, there are no woods to feed to the stove in the cabin anymore. It was a really hard time for her. Luckily, there was some stuffs in the cabin that can be used to keep the stove alive like table, axe, chairs. But all of those things were burned very quickly so it became very hard time for her again. She cried and ran through the door and called her brother Garth, but anytime she saw nothing. Since there was no enough woods to feed the stove, Dorette decided to leave her brother Derek at the cabin alone and went out to find the firewood. Outside of the cabin under the screen of darkness, she looked around and saw a man stood with a rifle gun in his arm and that man was looking at her. At that time, Dorette shouted at him, Garth. Garth the stove, the stove in our cabin, there was no more woods for it. In fact, that man was not Garth. He did not understand what she said, even though she tried to repeat. Suddenly, Dorette asked him for helping her to find the firewood and feed the stove in the cabin. The next day while waiting for Garth to come back, Dorette asked that stranger, who are you? And the stranger replied you will know in a minute. At the same time, that stranger saw Garth, and the doctor were coming back almost arrived the cabin. Suddenly he pulled Dorette into the cabin and escaped into the forest. Garth moved ahead more quickly to the cabin. He raised his rifle gun and shot to that stranger and shouted to him get back. Get back. It was Martin Dufer. 